In this movie, we'll cover the basics of drawing roots. To start drawing, choose the Root tool. If nothing is selected, then you can see the default root properties appear on the right. This shows the root type that will be used if you start drawing. You can draw roots in four ways. First, you can simply click once at the start and once again at the end. Secondly, you can click and drag. The root will be created when you release the mouse button. Thirdly, you can specify the length for your root. Click once to start drawing the root, move the mouse cursor in a direction, then simply type the length, for example 20 meters. Press enter to confirm and the root will be created. When typing a length, you can press backspace to correct the length. You can also press escape or move the mouse to cancel. Fourthly, you can specify the X and Y component of the root. Instead of just typing a length, if you type a number, then a comma, then a number, for example 50 meters in the X direction and 30 meters in the Y direction, then the root will be drawn to that exact point. You can also add another comma and a third number to add a third dimension. After any root is drawn, the root is automatically selected and its properties appear here. You can select roots by using the Select tool like this. Or if the root tool is in use, you can select things by right clicking. When a root is selected, the properties of that root are displayed on the right and you can make changes such as changing the width of a pavement or adding or deleting streetscape elements. You can deselect everything by clicking on a clear part of the ground. If you delete all of the streetscape elements and draw a root, this is called a boundary root. Boundary roots can be used to create and subdivide blocks in more detail. In the next video, we'll explain more about creating, deleting and merging blocks. For more information, please see the help files which can be accessed by pressing F1 when using CityCAD.